Hey everyone, welcome to Hema's Home and Garden in USA. If you have fruit trees in your garden, please watch this video until the end. This is my beautiful pomegranate tree that I planted during the fall of 2017 and I recorded this one during December 2021. You can see it's a beautiful tree, it's in its dormancy because this was during December 2021. It's almost 6 foot tall tree. Every time I visit my garden, I pay really, really close attention to all my fruit trees. And today when I was inspecting my pomegranate tree, I saw this thing happening in my stems of the pomegranate tree. A quick look uh, makes you think like it is a branch, a tiny branch that's growing in the stems. But actually it is a damage caused by the ambrosia beetle. The ambrosia beetle lays its eggs on a weaker, vulnerable fruit tree branches, fruit tree stems and those eggs hatches and it's, it just drills holes into the uh, stems and it keeps eating all the center core of the fruit trees. So you can see uh, all these holes, you see the hole? this from this point it enters into the main stem so i have attached a few google images of classic ambrosia beetle larvae damage so if you see something like this in your fruit trees it means your fruit trees are infected with ambrosia beetle larvae and you have to immediately chop the infected pot and burn it Please don't dispose it because the larvae is still going to be alive and it may enter some other fruit tree. It may keep eating inside until it grows into an adult beetle and it may enter another fruit tree by laying eggs. So if you have some kind of damage like this in your fruit trees, your neighbor may get it. Uh, from your tree and in case your neighbor has it you may get it from your neighbor so everyone has to do the same thing just chop the infected parts and then burn it so i have chopped all the branches like this until i saw no damage in the core of the uh, stems now i am going to chop it into smaller pieces put it in a metal bucket and then i am going to burn this so when I was chopping it, I chopped right where there was a hole and I could see that the, the larvae has started drilling the hole and if I left it as it is without uh, taking any action, it keeps eating the core of the fruit tree and eventually the fruit tree dies. This is another uh, stem that I split open to see how it looks inside and this is how it looks. The larvae already started damaging the core of the stem and I could even spot the tiny larvae, it's in white color. Since I couldn't focus much with my camera, there it's not possible to show you clearly. Luckily, I saw this issue in the beginning stage itself because even three days ago when I visited my garden, I did not see any problems in my fruit trees and today within three days, I am noticing this issue. It means the issue is in the very beginning stage. I am so glad I found this in the very beginning stage so that I could take action immediately. I suggest everyone that is growing fruit trees, please pay close attention to how it looks, how the skin looks, whether there are any holes or damages in the branches or main stems. And if you find anything suspicious, Please do some research, watch some YouTube videos, Google uh, about it and try to solve the problem or try to stop the problem from affecting your other fruit trees. So my one six foot tall beautiful pomegranate tree looks like this now after I removed all the infected branches. Even though I am heartbroken that my tree size has drastically reduced, I am really glad that I could figure out the problem and solve it immediately. I hope this video is useful for everyone. If so, please subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos. Thank you all for watching.